Yeah, that's okay. This is America. We can menace all we want. Okay. I'm Mills Lane. Trap Gardner. Yeah. And we talking about surviving, surviving R. Kelly. Yeah, surviving, surviving R. Kelly. We lucky. Yeah, we lucky. Because he don't like us. He don't like us. We don't like no young boys and shit. Yeah. Like us. We lucky. We are lucky. Now. Well, unfortunately, there's a large population of our people that don't, I repeat, don't get escapes. And they need our help. So, first things first. How about all these parents that did not protect their children? Well, he paid the parents off. You know that. He bought them houses, cars, or whatever. You know, he went in that project up in Chicago, and that was his happy hunting ground. You know what I'm saying? So he shows up, and he's a, he's a millionaire. He shows up in his rolls and says, hey, look here, I'm going to take your daughter for a ride for a couple of weeks. And when I bring her back, I'm going to get y'all a house and a car, y'all out the project forever. How can they say no? They can say no because it's children. You're talking about kids. Well, motherfuckers have been selling, selling young black motherfuckers for years, right? In America, right? Uh-oh. This, this is American culture. Right there, American culture. American culture, that's what they do in America. You know what I mean? So, and he's been doing this for a while and getting away with it, and then he got caught up, and then he decided to start his own harem, you know what I mean? And move on from that. But it's all the people that knew what was going on, you know, they dressed their daughters up real nice and hot for our Kelly hoping that one day he would pick one of their kids and shit. They did it, you know what I mean? A lot of people knew about what his brother was doing. And he ain't the only one. Don't get this right. twisted by no means. You've been to concerts, all-star games, football games, and been in the back there, and all of a sudden you see this pretty little thing and shit, barely of age back there, uh, hanging around. What do you think they there for? What do you think? I saw the movie backstage. <laughs> it was about um, Rockefeller concerts, Def yeah. Jam. Yeah. yeah, them guys were doing real crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And then the women were so into it. Yeah, well, some of them were, yeah. were not quite women. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I personally don't care a lot about that whole sex slave stuff when he was had these adult women in his house. Yeah, they, they, they signed up. I have mm -hmm. no concerns they about that. They were volunteers, you know? I, I believe if they had an issue, they should go to the law enforcement. Well, That's how I feel about that. Well, I seen a couple of them down on Rodé Drive, you know what I mean? Beverly Hills shopping. Oh, shit. shopping. They like, hey, you okay? Is you okay? And they like, shit, he gave me $100,000 to go shopping. You, know what I mean? no, they, they okay. you know, they okay. Yeah. But the kid part. That's what we talking about. We talking about him hunting young girls and shit. And going to his happy hunting grounds and that project. You know what I mean? And he's not the only one. Okay? Not by a long shot. There's more of them out there. Okay? I tell you ain't the only one. But you know what I find strange, brother? What's up? Uh, this show that came out. Surviving by Kelly, right? Okay. Who's behind that? Well, the Lifetime Networks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know they specialize in uh, hurt women. Well, there's other guys out there that they could go after too. You know? I'd like to see them go after a few other ones too. And we know they are. Okay. Know, like I said, just name some names then, tough guy. Oh, see, I can't be naming names like that because I can't prove what went what went down behind closed doors. Okay, that would be slanderous, would it? Well, I know like some dead guys like Hugh Hefner. Elvis? He sure enough had a lot of young women in his house. Yeah, because uh, Elvis. Those that Q's cars were doing something to her. Since she was in Hep House and she wasn't, she wasn't of age. Uh, Elvis Presley. That's right, Elvis. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 okay, the new guys are known to have did that. Jerry Lewis, you know what I mean? He, he, he didn't go out the family. He stayed with the family. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like 
this has been going on in America for years and years and years, right? And nobody yet actually saying nothing. But you know, if you if you go to a baseball game and you see that little lineup over there, them young chicks be showing up and and doing their thing and shit, you know what I mean? They they put it on display, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to be rich, quick rich. You know what I mean? I know about a couple of years ago there was a lot of websites called uh, Young Girls Meet Old Dudes. Yeah, the college girls and stuff like that. I'm quite sure that some of them wasn't in college, actually. Half of them was in high school. You know what I mean? And it wasn't, uh, what's it called? Sugar Daddy. Ah, yeah. Sugar Daddy. There yeah, you sugar go. Sugar Daddy, yeah. Yeah, Sugar Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, the to get back on to the, the topic because we really care about the safety of our American children I heard he was trying to even go to Ethiopia to recruit wow. singing hey lady do you got your shots up to date <laughs> then maybe you can come to Chicago and eat what I ate don't be <laughs> late don't be over the age of eight allegedly Damn. allegedly 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 Anyway, allegedly. So, more of the story is these kids sometimes they don't have the best parents. Sometimes they or their parents are a little misguided. Sometimes they got it by money, fame. It's all about the money. And they'll do and sacrifice whatever to get such things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's so true. You know what I mean? And it's become a, a cultural norm, not the ad norm. It's a normal thing for these guys to go hunting for disadvantaged youth to take advantage of. And that's what they do. They do exactly that. And we, mm -hmm. we as the people, we the people must protect our youth against such predatory people. It's up to us not to give in to this predatory nature. Not to be brought off by people who have accumulated some type of wealth to think that they can get away with these things. We must not let the R. Kelly's of the world, the Catholic priests of the world, the NAMLA organizations of the world, the Woody Allens of the world. We must not let these people get away with the things the they've done. In Saudi Arabia. That, well, that, that, uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, all right. All right. You know, the president, the president is uh, rocking with them. Oh, uh, well, you know. You know. Uh, it, it is what it is. We lost an American it citizen. Is, it is what it is. Writer for the Washington Post. It is what it is. Who went to Turkey to get married, and the royal family might have had something to do with taking him out. No, well, you know, it's a ship that's in the Persian Gulf right now that, a cruise ship. It, it's protected by uh, two Navy ships, you know what I mean, and a couple of helicopters, where they get on that boat and they do whatever the fuck they want to do to whoever to get on that boat. And our, our sailors and soldiers are protecting them. So they get out there, they get out to sea, and they say, okay, we passed our limit there, and now we can do what we want to do because we're not technically in the country. Yeah. So they could do, they could do whatever they wanted to. Since they could, they we on, do whatever the fuck they wanted to. We yeah. on, uh, and and on that note, we gonna fall back off of them. Yeah, we gonna fall back. Because <laughs> I can't Cause I fight wanna, them I right now. See them. But they better. Mm, yeah. 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 They better get this right. Because I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. <laughs> you know y'all out there. Yeah. You know y'all predators are out there. Yeah. You know y'all rich predators are really out there. And we know what y'all doing. You know what I mean? And we know there's people that like to cover up for you too. Mm -hmm. We're finding out. Yeah, because what you do in the dark, it comes out in the light. Okay? So it's going to happen. You know what I mean? You think that you got away? Man, it's cell phones all over the place and shit. And y'all so make us sick. Y'all make us sick. Really sick. Because y'all some sick bastards. And y'all continue on with this bullshit. You know what I mean? And you're going to get caught. We're going to have to take some day quill. 
Yeah. yeah. So, this episode is sponsored by Dayquil. Yeah. 